Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it's Hey guys, over. welcome to another video. Today is going to be a fun one. Today we are going to be doing a what is in my gym bag. So right now I am using a very little one. I sometimes use a big one, but I haven't been wanting to like lug around a big tote. So this is all going to be inside my little Nike backpack. I will link it below as well as if there's any like alternatives that might be a little bit cheaper, but let's get into it. First thing that's always in there is a blender bottle. This is my favorite color. I love the bright ones and the funky ones. I have way too many of these. Um, <laughs> so I do, before I go to the gym, I usually don't use this. I use uh, for pre-workout i'll either dry scoop or i will just like mix it in a tiny little bit of water and same thing with my creatine and my pump i'll do all of that in like a little thing and then this is what i will put bcaa's in so i'll shake this up with some water and bcaa's and drink that throughout my workout so that'll just basically boost hydration and endurance and things like that so great to have one of these and you can also put um, protein in these at the end all right so next thing, we have some booty bands. So I have these cute little rainbow ones. This is going to be a heavy band. Um, they have different resistances. They have light, they have medium, they have heavy. This one just happens to be the heavy one. So it's in this really cute like cotton candy rainbow pattern. And then I also have a long one. So this one you can use for many different things. Um, you can also like kind of stretch out your upper body with it. Um, as well as you can put this in if you're doing like an at-home workout You can put this in the door frame close the door and then kind of just do some upper body lower body Whatever you're feeling, but these are very handy same cute little pattern um, I love to have these for warm-ups I mostly use like a medium or a heavy one for a warm-up on leg days I just kind of try to loosen up my hips and things like that with it All right Next thing I always have on upper body day and actually lower body day as well for like deadlifts um, is this I am currently missing the other one I don't know what happened to it but these are gonna be like little lifting straps so you'll put them on like this if I can put it on so you'll put them on like that and then you'll basically have the bar go in right here and the bar will be in this and you grip this so it just gives you better grip and it has these like little grippies just to make it easier to hold there's it's kind of split 50 50 on whether i like these or just like the um the original ones where it's like literally just a strap that you wrap around the pole and then you just hold on to that i don't know where they are uh i was planning on giving them to charlie but they're kind of mia at the moment but i will link them below as well depending on your preference you might like those better i just kind of like these you don't have to worry about like actually wrapping them all over the pole or anything like that so some of the next things are just going to be like beauty things that um, I have in my bag just in case I like, need to freshen up or I'm coming from somewhere unexpectedly like I wasn't originally planning on coming to the gym. I maybe I'm going to go somewhere after just quickly. So I have a little mini deodorant. This one is just the dove that you can find in like the travel section at like Target or Walmart or wherever. Um, always have to have one of these in case for whatever reason I just need to reapply or I forgot to put some on because that happens sometimes when I'm in a rush. So I have that. I have a, what is this? A bodybuilding dry shampoo. So if I am super sweaty and I need to go somewhere after, I'll just throw this in my hair, let it sit for a couple minutes and then just kind of Shake it out so I look less of a grease ball if I need to go somewhere. This one is the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy. So I got this. Always have a dry shampoo. Um, what else? So sometimes I work out like outside um, depending on what gym I'm going to or what the day is. And so I have a SPF in my bag as well. This one is a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion in SPF 50. So just good to have one of these. I have in my beach bag, my car, and my gym bag. It's always good to keep sunscreen on you. Another one of my favorite products to keep in my gym bag is going to be this Paula's Choice Sicilic Acid Spray. Sicilic Acid Spray. Duh. So it's basically an acne body spray, but the way that I use this is when I wear hats to the gym, I spray this either like on my forehead or on the inside of the hat in the um, like where it would hit my forehead. 
and that really helps like breakouts i know for a while during covid wearing masks at the gym too like i was just breaking out like crazy so i also sprayed this on the inside of my masks and like on my face and this really helped the breakouts because my skin was not doing well for a while with the masks um where i go right now you don't have to wear them i absolutely love this uh, but mostly for the hats anytime i go like snowboarding as well like before i put my beanies on i will spray my forehead spray the inside of the hat and i really haven't had too many breakouts in this region highly highly recommend having this in the gym bag if you're going to be sweating a lot the next thing i have is i always kind of rotate through chapsticks i have a couple favorites but honestly just like my tried and true is going to be just some aquaphor so this is just advanced therapy normal aquaphor bottle i'll keep this on me anytime i go to the river anytime i go to the mountains gym this is just always with me so i have one of these for my gym bag I just put it on as if you're gonna wear a normal lip balm and um, this i mean you can use for anything else like super dry skin but i don't put this anywhere other than my lips at the moment of course i always have an extra hair clip because sometimes if i am doing something after the gym i don't want my hair to be like super creased like it could be when i put in a ponytail so i'll just throw it up in a clip instead and um we're good to go of course just a bunch of extra hair ties i just have like a bunch of different ones these i really like for what i'm doing like high ponies need this material um they help my hair like stay straight up basically because <laughs> i like to do sometimes ponies like on the top of my head and then these ones i like for doing like buns and stuff so i just have a couple different ones i actually have like more than this in my gym bag but there's no point in showing you guys that always keep because you know that hot girl ibs <laughs> the hot girl stomach problems so i always keep tums in my bag because sometimes you know my stomach is just like super sensitive so I make sure i'm on deck with these at all times it's just, it is what it is. Got some hand sanitizer just in case. You know, gym equipment gets a little bit nasty, so I make sure I have this. I have the Island Vanilla Pacifica Body Spray. So this just smells really good if, like I said, if I'm going somewhere um, right after, like I just spray myself a little bit and then I'm like slightly refreshed if I don't have a chance to shower before I go do something. And the scent is really good. I think I've told you guys over and over again how much I love vanilla. It smells great. And then I just keep a concealer and a brow gel just to touch up any little imperfections if I'm feeling necessary, if I'm having like a little breakout or anything. So my camera ran out of memory and I don't feel like going fishing for another memory card. So I'm just going to finish it up on my phone. But um, another thing that I always keep on me, this doesn't necessarily fit in this gym bag, but I only bring this with me on leg days. So this is going to be the upper barbell pad. I absolutely love this. This one is so thick and so easy to put on. It doesn't fall off. It has um, a really great strong Velcro. So this one is Fit with Ulia. This or Fit Ulia Fit or something like that is her her name on Instagram. Um, she is like a gym shark athlete who created her own brand. And I have never used a better pad than this. It's so thick. You can go super super heavy. Like even in hers, she like basically it's hip thrusting like almost like 500 pounds and doesn't hurt i can't hit 500 but you can go pretty heavy and not feel any pain using this so i love this one she has it in really cute colors i just personally like the red i think it stood out but there's like cute pastels pinks purples kind of all of that so love this on leg day um tampons goes without saying don't need to explain this one <laughs> and uh, another thing that I always keep in is a little tripod in case I am filming for you guys. So this one is just a small little one. It goes like this. And it has like a little rotator, like ball rotator. So you can kind of angle it. But um, always have one of these just in case I do film my workouts. So that is pretty much it for what I keep in my gym bag. It seems like kind of like a lot of the little like makeup -y things. Oh, the last one actually, it was on the floor. Um, I bring a Febreze fabric to go gain scented so I bring one of these just in case like my workout clothes smell sweaty kind of the same thing with the spray so I'll spray like this on my body and then, like this on my clothes if I have to do something after and I'm I just need a quick like little refresh um, so these are always great and sometimes I'll keep like an extra sports bra in my bag just in case I ever forget one because sometimes like I have the bottoms like I'm wearing leggings a lot so I'll forget like a sports bra if I'm not coming straight from home to go to the gym. So 
Sometimes I keep that. Sometimes I even keep like an extra pair of leggings in there. So the last thing I'm gonna share with you guys in this video isn't necessarily something that I keep in my gym bag all the time, um, but I'll just share with you guys really quickly like the supplements that I usually take. So for a pre-workout, I love Prolific. So by PE Science, this is one of my favorite ones ever. This one is in the flavor Melonberry Twist. I've talked about this in multiple of my videos. Bentley's a big fan too. <laughs> I've talked about this in multiple of my videos. Um, this is just my favorite pre-workout ever. It, it doesn't give you like the tinglys or anything like that. I really don't prefer that. I know some people don't mind it, but I don't like it. So I will do this pre-workout and I will generally mix it with the high volume, which is going to be the pump. And there is no caffeine in this. So it's a non-stimulated like pre-workout. So I'll mix these two together. And then um, I also mix it with creatine. Normally I have the powder version, but right now I, I just ordered the true creatine in pill form. Katie has these as well. Um, I, like I said, I usually use the powder form just cause I mix it up in the water and it kind of blends with everything else. There's no taste to it but um, I've been trying the pills recently and it, honestly, it's just kind of convenient. So they're, they're the same, they work the same. There's really no difference just besides the way that you take it. So it's really preference. Um, these are good to take, creatine in general is good to take at the same time every single day, even if you're not working out to see your best results. So not a fitness expert by any means, but this is kind of just what I like and the stack that I do. For protein, I kind of go back and forth. I have an Alani New protein and like birthday cake, which is pretty good. And then I also have um, a Dyna, something like that in, what is it? It's like a coffee flavor. And that one's really good to like mix actually like in your like coffee or to blend up kind of in a smoothie, whatever you like. I also have a collagen peptide <laughs> protein that has no flavor in it. So you can just literally put in anything or water. And like sometimes I'll actually mix it into my coffee since it's just no flavor. Um, but I'll link everything that I talked about below if you guys want to try it out. Um, again, absolute favorite brand, cannot recommend them anymore. So that is it for what I keep in my gym bag. I know it is quite a lot of like little things, but I'm always on the go. So it's super helpful to have those all with me at all times. If you guys want to see anything else, like what is in my normal day-to-day -day bag, my purses, my bag collection, kind of whatever you guys want to see, just let me know and I will be happy to record it for you. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that bell notification so that you are notified every time I post. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!